litre 1.5 TSI engine, 150 brake horsepower. The new R badge there. Yeah, that is classy, then, isn't it? It's a classy look. That's free. Because it's quite a tall car. It is. And I'm six foot three. <laughs> Are you? No. <laughs> Okay, review time. Today we're looking at this Volkswagen Tiguan. This is the 1.5 TSI R-Line DSG. So, first of all, like I said, it's a 1.5 TSI engine, 150 brake horsepower, more than adequate, I would say. Pretty responsive, in all honesty. All the feedback we get from customers, and we've supplied a ton of these cars, and other vehicles with the same engine, is that it is more than adequate for this size vehicle. Not 62, VW say 9.2 seconds, so not, you know, blisteringly fast, but it's a family SUV, so, you know, bit of compromise but on that side of it mpg combined mpg vw say so again pinch of salt not i'm saying anything but take it with a pinch of salt is 38 miles per gallon i think that's pretty good certainly for a vehicle this size so this particular vehicle is completely standard so everything you see on this car basically is, is free it comes with the r line spec as it is so no additional cost whatsoever so we'll start with the paint this is the pure white as i said free of charge there is various metallic option choices um which is 625 pound for your your standard deep black nightshade blue and so on there's a few other different colors there is one and i can't it doesn't quite compute in my head but you could go for a metallic white called on X Y, I think it is. How you pronounce it? It's like eleven hundred pounds. That's free. I'm not entirely sure why you'd pay eleven hundred pound for metallic white when you've got the solid white. Free. Yeah, anyway, I agree. Some people do. <laughs> Styling wise, first thing to point out that looks premium. It does. Ever I've seen premium. That looks really, really nice. Nice little subtle R there showing it's the R line yep. model. Oh, the new shape R as well, the uh, the new style R. Yeah, yeah, so that's really I've not I don't think I've seen one before actually. I've not noticed that anyway, so that's a really nice little touch. We've got the alloys there, 20 inch Nizan. Even complicated names don't they? <laughs> 20 inch alloys, they're stunning, they really set the car off very very nicely i think yeah absolutely you know, really make make it the problem with suvs and everyone wants an suv nowadays don't they that's like the, the car shape to have yeah and i can see why it is nice you know, to sit up higher and stuff like that but the wheels have got to be on point because a small set of wheels and a fairly big suv just doesn't really work does it absolutely so no, very, no. very very nice what else have we got so privacy glass privacy, privacy glass rear pillars onwards not obviously it's manufacturer um, privacy glass so it's not and you can see through it and you if know. you can tell a difference on camera there but it's yeah it's, it's a, just about apparent yeah. yeah not massive a lot of customers like to get their own privacy glass put on afterwards because they can get a lot a lot darker than legal the legal limits of course but i think that's pretty good there just as a standard standard spec absolutely that's a nice little uh, little feature as well this chrome trim oh yeah i'm um, just breaking the because it's quite a tall car it is and i'm six foot three <laughs> are you no. <laughs> well that's quite a tall car so it kind of just breaks up the um breaks the car up a little bit there see what you mean yeah roof bars as well standard on the car excellent it's helpful on a car like this because you might want to stick on it a bike rack or something else yeah sort of roof rack on there so we've got park assist and front and rear parking sensors. Park assist, basically, if you don't know, the car will kind of do a little parallel park for you. It tends to be an experience of that little feature is you'll use it once when you first get the car and then realise it's a bit of a gimmick and, <laughs> and never use it again. But obviously, front, uh, front and rear parking sensors, very handy on a car this size. Uh, I think one bit of feedback we get from customers is they would like to have seen the rear camera included as standard. Yeah, that um, makes sense. It's not, it's cost option, it's like 250 quid, so it's not, you know, an extortionate amount of money if you did want it. And I'd say it's probably pretty good value on a vehicle this size if, you know, if you're keeping the car, you know, just to have that there, just make parking a little bit easier. Yeah, not on there, standard. Caps off, exhaust pipes there. Ooh. Mm, not sure I'm a big fan of 
fan of them being capped off, but the actual styling itself with these twin chrome looking exhaust tailpipes alongside this black finish there looks absolutely stunning. It does, it looks fantastic. And again, I'm really a big fan of BW now with this black and silver yeah. logo there. Looks classy, doesn't and it? And then I, I do like this. We started seeing it a few years ago coming in, but like the, you know, the, the brand name just across there. Yeah. Like that. It just looks a lot better than having. Remember, you used to have like all well, something there. I do, I do. There. Remember on the old shape take one, it was there, and then uh, what was it all for? Oh, four motion, four, four motion. motion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that looks uh, a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot nicer design, definitely. Absolutely. Obviously, being the R line, you've got the R line trim on there, exterior trim, which includes this rear spoiler. Again, just sets the whole car off very, very nicely. Yeah, absolutely. One of the standard specs on there that jumped out with me, predominantly doing a lot of motorway miles, is the lane assist feature that's oh, built yeah. in there. So basically, it will cover your blind spot. So if someone's coming up, overtaking in your blind spot, you'll get a little um, light in the wing mirror here, which just kind of alerts you um, that there is a car potentially in the blind spot. So that's a really nice little feature. And then lastly, up from, let's take a minute to look at this. It looks good, doesn't it? It's fa it's, it's lovely. It's again. Got the new R badge there. Yeah, that is classy, then, isn't it? It's a classy look. There's a lot of detail in this bonnet here. Look at these two. I don't know if I was coming across, but yeah. Hopefully, yeah, two big ridges in there, which really, really makes the bonnet sort of point in a bit and quite, makes it quite an aggressive front end. Looks really nice. It does. And then lastly, you've got LED headlamps in there as well, which can be quite, can be overlooked, but as someone who swaps between vehicles fairly regularly, the difference between LED headlights and then the Xenon headlights is, I was going to say night and day, but, it, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not a pun, it is. Especially if you're on, like, country roads, Xenon headlights, they're really, it's almost like you're driving with candlesticks in the front there compared to LED headlamps. They're really, you know, just a big, big difference. So, like I say, I spot it because I'm swapping vehicles quite often and I look out for vehicles that have got LED headlamps and it's a really quite a key thing for me and I think I guess a lot of people as well maybe they just don't quite know it yet but yeah so that's a good feature so um, again feedback from customers we always love to get um, is that when obviously the new shape Tiguan big big hit but one thing they did do is they recently dropped one really key feature off the R line yeah customers didn't like it recently removed the uh, pan roof it used to be a standard feature oh of course and now it's an 1100 pound 1100 pound option they switched over to the elegance model which now gets that uh, included in the in the package a bit disappointed they decided to do that would like to have kept seeing that you know being the R lines the top of the top of the range the flagship but to keep that uh, pan roof on there as a uh, standard really would have just you know nailed it in my opinion but it's a bit of a shame that one but I don't think we can um, grumble too much about the rest of it can we no absolutely not 